Good afternoon. Today, I'll be presenting my Design 9 Capstone Thesis Proposal titled, A Proposed Quezon City Collectional Facility, Improving Jail Setting Through Modern Architecture. Since the start of the War on Drugs in 2016, plate file inmates are steadily increasing in our jails, outnumbering the bed space by 1 is to 5. Due to this overcrowding, not everyone is provided and accommodated with their own cells. This leads to poor prison condition, which causes a lot of problems like poor sanitary condition, an increase in violence with the inmates, and it could also affect their mental health. The proposal aims to provide humane treatment by supplying inmates' basic needs and help them reform into better individuals. For the client, I have chosen the Quezon City Local Government Unit because they are the one that would benefit from the project and the study will help in improving the situation of our jail for future reference. The two main reasons that the site is located at Quezon City are, first, NCR has the highest jail congestion rate with 608% and the second reason is that Quezon City tops the crime rate compared to the other cities. Here, we have two available sites for the proposed project. In choosing a site for a jail, the two factors that should be considered is that the site is not near any recreation or residential area. Site B was preferably chosen because Site A was near a medium residential area and directly near a forest. For the site analysis, there are good and bad points within Site B. It has a major road which is the Commonwealth Avenue and a secondary road which is the Masaya Street. There is also a designated terminal for jeep and tricycles in front of the site. Other surroundings should also be considered since there is a low-density residential area to the bottom right of the site and commercial establishments. Quezon City Memorial Circle is on the left side of the site although it is on the other side of the major road. Design standards are our guidelines in designing the proposed project. Here are the list of the guidelines to be followed in designing the correctional facility. National Building Code of the Philippines, also known as PD-1096, is the set of rules and regulations pertaining to construction of buildings here in the Philippines. Accessibility Law, or BP-344, designed for disabled person. Park Code, or RA-9514, for ensuring public safety. Plumbing and sanitation for promoting environmental protection and secure a healthier place. And lastly, the minimum standard set by BJMP, which are the ones supervising all the jails in the country. I have prepared two samples for the case studies for both local and foreign. The Quezon City Jail was built in 1953, originally to house 800 people according to the country's Bureau of Jail Management and Penology Standards. The United Nations says it should house no more than 278. In seven weeks since President Duterte took office and charges number one cop with cleaning up the country, that number has risen to 4,053. Conditions are outstanding inside. Every available space is cramped with yellow t-shirt humanity, and almost 60% are in for the drug offenses, spending the day sitting, squatting, and studying in the unrelenting, suffocating heat. The Cebu Provincial Detention and Rehabilitation Center, also known as the Cebu Prison, became a well-known for its rehabilitation program in 2005 to 2010 because of the program of choreographed exercise routine for the inmates. While Cebu Prison may not match the luxury standards of the best correctional facilities in the world, they have championed because of inmate recreation 
and creativity. Bangkok Central Prison became well known around Thailand and Asia as one of the harshest prisons in the world, with conditions that caused many prisoners to lose either their life or their sanity. For the first three months of each inmate's stay there, they were chained with leg irons, which caused significant moral blow and reduced capability to move. Inmates sentenced to death were chained in leg irons permanently before they meet their end, either by firing spot or recently by lethal injection. HMP Adewell Adewell is designed as a learning prison where offenders can address their offending behavior and the circumstances which led to their imprisonment. The learning aspect aims to improve their employability prospects, their well-being, and community support networks, leading to a reduction in re-offending. Development control is one of the rules set in National Building Code. The lot type of the site is corner lot. With 23 meters major road, we can get a setback 5 meters in front and 3 meters for side and rear. Occupancy classification is Division D1, institutional where personal liberties of inmates are restrained or quarters of those rendering public assistance and maintaining peace and order. Zoning classification is general institutional. For building height limit, we have 15 meters for institutional and floor to lot area ratio of 2.50. Here are the computations. The total lot area is 29,567 square meters. For the percentage of site occupancy, it is equal to 50% of the TLA. The PSO is 14,783.5 square meters. For maximum allowable impervious surface area, it is the 20% of the TLA. ISA is equal to 5,913.4 square meters. For minimum unpaved surface area or USA, we have 30% of the TLA, which is 8,871.1 square meters. Total open space within the lot or TOSL is equal to ISA plus USA, which is 14,783.5 square meters. AMBF or allowable maximum building footprint is equal to TLA minus TOSL, which is equal to 14,000. 783.5 square meters. The gloss floor area is equal to tail A times floor is equal to 73,917.5 square meters. For MACA or maximum allowable construction area, it is equal to PSO plus ISA, which is equal to 20,696.9 square meters. Demand analysis. Like I said earlier, this table shows that Quezon City ranks the highest crime rate compared to the other cities. For the increased rate in Quezon City Jade, I have used the population report per year to get the projected population. With the formula given, we can get the average growth rate, which is 11.42%. In 10 years, the projected increase in jail population would be 15,437 in 2029. Building systems are the utilities to be used in the proposed project. Rainwater harvester has a lot of benefits in saving water and also a water storage. Air conditioning for the admin building and the installation of fire protection system, which includes sprinkler, smoke detector, and many more. A generator set in case there is a power outage in the area, and a CCTV for monitoring detainees and visitors. 
design philosophy. Form follows function is a principle that proposes a building's purpose should be the starting point for its design rather than its aesthetics. Modernist architecture or modernism is a style that emerged in the early 20th century in response to large-scale changes in both technology and society. It is associated with the function of the buildings, approach from the analytical viewpoint, a rational use of materials, the elimination of ornaments and decoration, and openness to structural innovation. The form concept follows the principle form follows function. With this, the four buildings are separated, namely the admin or the police station in front, the two holding cells to separate man and woman are in the left and right, and lastly, the commitment cell for the sentence inmate for minor crimes in the rear. Subtracting the height from the admin and the commitment cell since they are the minority in the facility. The recreation space is open for all except it is still divided by category. General precast concrete jail cells are very efficient in construction of prison housing facilities. The precast jail cells offer much higher security comparing to concrete masonry unit cells. All amenities in the cells are tamper proof. Structural steel has become one of the most prevalent construction materials of the century, often seen as an extremely important component of modern buildings and housing, and it is because of its strength, availability, weight, sustainability, and price. Smart glass, also called as switchable glass or privacy glass, is helping to define the architectural, automotive, interior and product design industries. The technologies behind smart glass help resolve the conflicting design and functional demands for balancing the benefits of natural light, views, and open floor areas with the need for energy conservation and privacy. Glass grid is an extremely environmentally friendly system and works to provide an effective solution whilst maintaining the integrity of the surrounding area. Grasscrete self-drains extremely well, so well in fact that the drainage rate can be as high as 90% of that normal grass. And that will be the end of my presentation. Thank you for watching.